this thing just will not mm -hmm. move. Mm -hmm. And it's just hard to imagine what our neighbors in the Bahamas are experiencing right now. Right. And just to watch that destruction and the de devastation that we've seen from the videos and the images, and it's still just nearly stationary over them. Yeah, remain, remain stationary. What uh, was moving it is pretty much gone. So yeah. eventually today it will start to move, but hey, we have a few more hours at least where we just have to watch yeah. it sit off the coast. The National Hurricane Center as of 5 a.m. is saying that possibly later this morning it'll start to move. Right north northwest so. and yeah. we are hoping that it finally begins to move away from the Bahamas and obviously away from us but sure. we're still thinking about our friends up the coast of Florida and along the southeast because uh, Hurricane Dorian is still a big threat and as we look at the latest satellite image yes the uh, Grand Bahama Island still experiencing that eye well it's a category three it's still a major dangerous hurricane here and Max has seen winds of 120 miles an hour and just to give you that bigger view and put things in perspective you'll see that Dorian has grown in size although the winds have decreased and we are taking a look at that 5 a.m. advisory and Max has seen winds 120 miles an hour and basically moving nothing right now none no movement and located 105 miles east of West Palm Beach Florida it is forecast to move north northwest later today possibly as we get into this evening it could be just to the east of Melbourne right now the cone is keeping the core of Dorian just offshore and continually east of Daytona Beach likely by tomorrow evening and then uh, possibly moving here just offshore of the Georgia Carolina coast as we get into Thursday but then by Friday yeah folks here are needing to remain on high alert across the Carolinas there's a potential that it could be making landfall as a category two and then uh, continuing northeastward maybe just being offshore of the mid-Atlantic or could be making a glancing blow there and then off into the Canadian Maritimes as we get into Sunday as a depression or the remnants of Dorian there. Most of the computer models together keeping it moving in that generally northerly direction as we head throughout the next few days but then by late week Friday Saturday into Sunday taking a turn to the northeast hurricane warnings in place for the Bahamas. Broward County is still under a tropical storm watch hurricane watch for Palm Beach County areas north of Palm Beach County from Jupiter all the way up through Jacksonville through a hurricane warning as they could be experiencing hurricane force winds hurricane watches in effect here for the Georgia and South Carolina coastline storm surge warnings and watches as well. So yeah, the hurricane force winds extend out 45 miles and and then we're seeing tropical storm force winds extending out 104 miles out. So in terms of the effects for us here in South Florida, we're talking sustained winds in Broward 25 to 30 gusts 40 to 50, especially this afternoon, this evening, Miami Dade sustained winds of 20 to 25 and gusts as high as 35 to 45. So bursts of heavy rain, frequent lightning and the isolated risk of tornadoes for more on our local impacts. Meteorologist Steve Warren. Yeah, it's with these bursts of heavy rain that we'll uh, watch here. And uh, this is the uh, bands that we've been watching. Uh, this will well, stay pretty much to the south, but they continue to develop here around the lower keys. So uh, the storm's way up there, but we can't forget the lower keys here. They've been dealing with these uh, passing showers and the squalls band trying to work its way south here. It's just up in Palm Beach County. As these move through, uh, the wind picks up. You get that gust of wind, and that's where you can see these higher gusts. Otherwise, uh, wind's pretty much sustained out of the west and northwest about 20 miles an hour. But Boynton Beach, here comes another one moving south. That'll move into Broward County uh, and over the next few hours. Uh, the storm off the coast here, nearly stationary. We've been talking about for about 18 hours. And uh, slowly as it begins to drift off to the northwest, uh, we might see these actually start to increase here across the area. Wind speeds, 15 miles an hour, 18 in Pompano Beach, out of the west and northwest. Despite that offshore flow, we're still seeing that risk of uh, coastal flooding with the high tides. It's because the wave action here as these swells work their way down the coast. Now, you are getting a higher gust here and there, uh, near 30. Pompano Beach, Fort Lauderdale is at 22. Uh, the, the satellite and radar shows a band spinning off of the storm. There's that one uh, large one here down in the Florida Straits. Uh, we will continue to watch that area uh, with the computer forecast. Uh, what's happening right now is uh, one or two showers and storms might try to work their way south into Fort Lauderdale with that gust of wind. And then this activity just continues here over the next few days. Tropical storm warning with rough seas, 9 to 11 feet at wind 25 to 30 knots out of the west southwest 88 degrees gusty squalls more so to the north with these stronger gusts as they move through the area that continues today and again tomorrow.